Roy's been having some work done. We're not talking liposuction or colonic irrigation, but he has been rebored. His 22250 is sporting a brand new barrel, lovingly prepared by Paddy at Dane & Co. It's part of an extensive overhaul of hardware with a new bespoke rifle built for Mr Lupton, but more about this long-reaching 6.5x47 at a later date. There's not much left of the original rifle, but it's an old favourite of Roy's, and to add the finishing touches, he has been sent a Picatinny rail to seat the Drone Pro 10 times from Night Vision Gear UK. We got the rifle back from Paddy's. I phoned up uh, the guys at Tier 1, and I said that we needed a zero MOA Picatinny rail. Arrived in the post the next day, and literally just did it, undid four screws on the, the top of the Tika, put it on, they're on there, that's not going to shift. And now I've got the Drone Pro has arrived in the post, and I cannot wait to get this out and have a go with it. And it should just simply be, I think, a case of slotting it on. Do the catches up. Excellent, and away we go. So you can't get much more simple than that. I do like simple. It suits my personality. Of course, the plan was to zero the drone in daylight, but after he's fed the birds and played with the M25 on a Friday night, we arrive at Crows two hours late. We have to zero the drone in darkness. We've got a box out into the gloom there somewhere about 100 yards. I want to zero at about an inch high at 100 yards, so we should be pretty much uh, set to shoot out to about 250. So uh, hopefully we'll account for a couple of three foxes. We've just got a lawmate recorder that we're going to put onto it tonight as well, so you should be able to see through the scope and see what we can do. We've got Andy with us as well tonight, so he's come out to uh, to play. We are on uh, on Andy's ground, so it should be a bit of a giggle, and uh, I'm sure David is going to get a hell of a lot of ribbing over the next couple of hours. So we've got to come down and to the left. As I say, we want to be about there. Roy works his way through the zeroing, moving the crosshairs to the point where the shots have landed. So we need to adjust over to the right and up. So we're going to press Sorry, button two on the right hand side and button one on the top and that should take us a little bit closer. So we'll have a go at that. We're not using the specific illuminator for this unit and the reason for that was unfortunately David left it on the kitchen table as we were doing a bit of filming before we came out so we've had to uh, use a, another illuminator for tonight and uh, we're going to have to rely on that. We will be coming back out and using the infrared illuminator that uh, the Drone Pro 10 comes with but for tonight because uh, we have made a bit of a faux pas we're just going to have to use an external light source. One thing Andy notices when looking back at Roy crouched behind the rifle is how foxy Roy looks. That sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. Just shone the lamp back up the field to where we just come from. Uh, Roy's left his rifle up the field. Hasten to add it is unloaded, bolts up, so before anyone sees it. I've just shone the light up there and it just shows you how you've got to be so careful because you look at that. So that's why you never shoot at shoot it unless you know what you're shooting at. Time for some foxing. Crow hasn't touched the field since harvest, so he's confident we will get some customers. He's not wrong. The first one shies off, but there are plenty more about. We had six foxes coming in from different angles and it really is tricky um, in a situation like that because you've got to try and pick your fox and hope that they stop but um, with the first shot the others went and then with the, the second shot um, we had another few coming in and again they, uh, they cleared the field um, which is a shame. The second one was absolutely beautiful, I started following that with no illumination whatsoever, I mean it's quite a bright night anyway, we've got a bit of a moon. Um, and you could see with no illumination at all, or no external illumination, I could, I could have shot the fox quite easily, it was just tracking across there. Um, and then Andy put the, uh, the illumination on it, um, it shone up beautifully there, and fantastic clarity of picture. So I really, really do like this unit so far, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this over the next uh, few weeks. 
Our next fox works its way up the field through the bales, then turns tail and runs, only for Roy to make the most of a second's hesitation. Probably just about 200, maybe a little bit further off than that, um, and just stopped for a second, and so we managed to, to shoot him there. So, you know, very, very good. Again, thoroughly impressed with the scope. Um, you know, that's uh, to do 200 straight off, and we've only been uh, messing about with it for the first time. Uh, I don't think we can go too far wrong. The team are working well this evening, though. Roy and Crow feel that they should be the ones fronting a series on game cooking. Yeah, Kyle probably come out of the, uh, the bushes in a minute. I expect we cook that. I, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and put it in a baguette. Uh, that would look lovely in a yeah, baguette, wouldn't it? A bit of lettuce around, oh. a bit of tomato, yeah. a bit of mayonnaise, barbecue oh, sauce. Don't you don't get me going. There's always time for one more fox, and the last field gives us two. The first, Roy shoots without additional illumination, thanks to the near full moon. The second is with. When you think that we've shot foxes from, I don't know, 30 yards out to 200 yards, we zeroed it in the dark with fumbly fingers. Yeah, from what I've seen, incredibly easy to use. It is idiot proof because we just took proof that two idiots can take it out and use it. And the, the results that we've had so far have been brilliant. And again, I'm, uh, I'm chuffed with having my 22-250 back. It's so nice having, uh, having that back and having a play, so I'll, uh, I'll have to thank Paddy for that one again. It was a very successful night's foxing with a new rifle and new technology, giving Roy even more of an edge, as if he needed it. For more information about the Drone Pro 10 times, go to nightvisiongear.co.uk and if you want a new rifle or to give one a new lease of life, give Paddy a shout at customrifle.co.uk or on Facebook.